Furnishing. Roll eight. Check it. Of course, Tatine dies after the driver of the car she was riding in fell asleep. That story in our first seven minutes. Four staters react to the gay marriage debate. Stand by VR. Democratic hopefuls continue to battle for the Roll it. Take it. Ooh, stand by one. That was fast. Zoom. Yeah. Good morning, welcome to the KOAM Morning News. It's 5.30 on this Monday morning. I'm Dave Pine. And I'm Sarah Peart. Coming Clear. up a little bit later this half hour, human growth replacement has become such a big debate, especially for those over 50. We'll have a special report on the debate coming up a little bit, but first, Dave has to check your forecast. Well, it's in the 20s out there this morning. We have 29 in Joplin, 28 this morning in Carthage, Pittsburgh at 27, 24 down in Miami, Oklahoma. Forecast today, partly cloudy and 42 for a high temperature. Today is a chance of rain or snow tonight. More on that in just a few minutes, Sarah. Here. A car accident takes the line from the Pittsburgh screen. team. Topping our first seven minutes. Please think the fatigue caused the deadly crash yesterday morning. The on the full screen. The 18-year-old Megan Millat, the Pittsburgh High School senior, was riding in a car driven by her boyfriend's father, Frank Baldrini. The two were coming home after visiting his son at college in Kentucky. Baldrini's pickup ran off the right side of the road and hit a concrete Did culvert. she fall asleep? Megan was not wearing a seatbelt oh, when the truck man. overturned. The accident happened on Highway 37, a mile north of Avila, Missouri. Changes Superintendent there, Gary Price says Megan was such a wonderful girl who was actively involved in school and the National Honor Society. Change. Funeral arrangements there have not been made, but school counselors will be available for students needing to talk today from noon to 3 p.m. at the high school. Cure. A Seneca family is homeless after a Step fire five. their home. Rough five. Take it. Uh, that's that destroyed this house around noon yesterday. Clear. Seneca's Fire chief says it started Five, from an electrical short outside uh, and quickly six. spread. When firefighters arrived, it took only 10 minutes to put it out. The chief says the house is a total loss, but no one was injured. Jim and Debbie Thomas and Step by six by. say they're lucky to be alive, but they're still in shock. Roll six. Take the bite. Send. Uh, clear. 21. Go from there. There you go. Try over again. Send. Clear. Stand by camera two. Cure. The Tomlinsons do not have insurance, but they say they plan to rebuild on the lot. A Southeast Kansas mom is worried about Step by seven. Roll seven. Take it. Hold on. Just a second. Clear. Managers at the Arm Express convenience store were unavailable for comment. McClellan says the clerk assumed her son was 18. Most convenience stores, including the Arm Express, post signs warning people they must be over 18 to purchase cigarettes. McClellan says she doesn't Stand think her son was an isolated, isolated incident, and she thinks something needs to be done Roll about eight. it. Take the bite. Um, Send. It's just, uh, 15, it's about it. Wild. Clear. The kids don't need to do it, but the... Don't need to sell it just to Stand make by two. Money. And they need to be aware that parents are concerned about it. Cure. McClellan Stand by full screen. Sure if she'll press charges. On the full In screen. Kansas, retailers are fined at least $200 for not carding a minor. Plus a Stand by to cue Sarah over PD2. Minors are subject to a fine of $25. Roll it. And take it. Stand by for a veal and five. In San Francisco for Roll five. Take it. The city is trying to handle the huge volume Camera of two desk. couples seeking marriage licenses. The marriages of same-sex couples began on Thursday. Stand by two. They are expected to continue today before a court challenge is heard on Tuesday. Cure. Gay marriage is also a hot topic in the first. Stand by six. Well, row six. Take it. Sorry. Stand by seven. And opinions from Nick. Row seven. Take the bite. In my opinion, it's uh, and, you know, and clear. That's, that's what it's all about. Even though it's uh, a separation Susan, of church yeah, and state, I still think that God pretty well Claire, explains next. it in the Bible as to what it should be, and I don't think we should go against God's will. I think Send. it's not my place to judge. I'm all for it. Clear. If they are happy, you know, so be it. Ten. Ten times are wrong. Clear. And ten. Thirty-five already is. Stand by two. Oh, Q. Roll. Stand by PT2. Roll it. And take it. What you thought about My bad. Marriage and our interactive questions. 68% said 
said you approve of gay marriage, while 30% said Stand by you camera not. two. And 3% said that you have no opinion. To voice your opinion, just visit our website, KOAMTV.com. Cure. Just one day to okay. go before a contest that could once again shake up the Democratic Stand by for a package the and eight. The remains a favorite, and the results of Tuesday's Wisconsin primary may force at least one contender out of the race. Only in certain Relate. reports. Take it. <laughs> Shaking hands at a diner to clapping along in church to speaking on the stump. Ooh, These three candidates wild. work to woo Wisconsin voters. Okay. 72 delegates are up for grabs tomorrow. The front runner leads in the polls, and his two closest contenders desperately need a strong showing. All the candidates met last night for what could be their final debate. Attacks on President Bush took center stage. Every one of us Hi, Gary. has an approach that is Man. vast. <laughs> Gotta uh, hate those. When George Bush is, because George oh, well. Bush has no approach. With 14 out of 16 preliminary contests under his belt, John Kerry hopes an overwhelming victory in Wisconsin will push Howard Dean and John Edwards out of the race. This is a critical contest for the former Vermont governor, who has not carried a single state. His advisors have urged him to bow out if he doesn't win tomorrow. And Dean himself was a little kinder to Kerry during the debate. If he wins the nomination, I want to support him. boy. But he's crazy, clear. The senator from North Carolina nah, he's has just also me up way said way. this race is not over. And I, for one, intend to Edwards fight with is everything in. I've got for every one of those clear. votes. Edwards is looking ahead okay. to Super Tuesday, oh, yeah. but keeping the campaign alive takes money. And the more Kerry wins, the more money he gets. The Republicans are already treating John Kerry like the nominee. And they launched Claire. a video attack on the internet, linking the Massachusetts senator to special interests. Ten, stand by two. shot back with its own web attack against the Bush administration. In Washington, Aline Sergani for the KOAM Morning News. Cure. Troopers in Tennessee are able to stay off the road after Take it. 11 inches of snow hit areas No, I don't have anything here. You're fine. You're fine. Unusually heavy winter storm created icy roads and power outages through the midsection of the state. Step by two. Different Hold on. States closed down for various periods of time. And cure. Now here's Dave to look at Step your forecast. Step by G4. On G4. Mm, it's 5.37 on this Monday morning. At least we didn't see that kind of weather oh, shit. here this weekend. Really not too bad. Maybe up to 49. On Saturday and on Sunday, about 42 degrees weather. A lot on. Like what we had Clear. On what, Sunday. Anna? I'm sorry. Cold temperatures, most of us down in the 20s right. this morning, warming back up into the Is the now, interview light still on? No, it's this okay. afternoon. Well, we've got a little of everything in the forecast for this week. Now, tonight, we have a slight chance, about a 30% chance What's that we could see some light rain or yeah. light snow. Shouldn't be enough to yeah, amount to much if it does uh, come to be, but uh, the chance of very light. But there it is. Slim. But again, slight chance for Surprise. that tonight. We'll oh, see some found out what was wrong with the this week. Oh. Two temperatures that are going to be up close to 60 degrees later on this week. And speaking of warmer weather, uh, we'll also be looking at a thunderstorm chance coming later on in the week. Not a lot going on with the weather this morning. Again, we just had that snowfall. We saw that. Uh, Found out what was wrong with the foot clock. Connection came loose back here. Oh, you all right, man? Along the west coast with some heavy rain. Don't fall back there, man. Snow is occurring in the western U.S., mainly on the west coast. Slight chance for a little precipitation tonight He's head over heels and then we'll look for quiet mm. weather for the next couple of days along with a nice That's warm up nice. by midweek 30 is the temperature in joplin most of us in the 20s camera's clear today. and it'll be partly cloudy and cool today our high temperature this afternoon 42 degrees winds will be light today and from the south all right man 30 yeah. percent chance of light rain or light snow well tonight. i would say a low temperature this evening dropping down to 29 partly cloudy about 40 stand by two on tuesday boy wednesday it looks like a nice day it'll be a little bit breezy but still up to 57 Wednesday, Thursday, 62. Am I Friday, too for music for and the pool? Thunderstorms and dry Thund weather expected to return for next weekend. Yeah. I'll take thunderstorms over snow oh, yes. any day. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dave. And music, like pull. Top stories and weather in your first seven minutes. Coming up on the KOAM Morning News. On the full screen. Three, Mike Meyer had highlights of the Daytona 500. Oh, yeah. First check of sport. Plus, a former baseball Hall of Famer will be honored with a museum in the four states. More on that at 551 and at 550. VR. What doctors say about hormone pills in our special report, Life After 50. You're watching the KOA Morning News. We'll be right back. And take it. Live from KOA MTV. Sarah Barrett. 
Dirty Day Pilot. Alright. It's helping people while making it have the VR. for you. Stem my five package. Row five. Take it. State, I'm Mike Meyer. Dale Earnhardt Jr. was bumped into the pole position of yesterday's Daytona 500 Mike, after Greg Mike, Biffle Mike, was forced Mike, to change Mike. engines on Saturday. Earnhardt tried to win his first ever Great American Race, six uh -huh. years to the day his father won his first day Daytona, and three yeah. years to the day he perished. Now it is my honor to start this race, gentlemen. Way to redo this. Start one. your I'm engines. Because he started talking over oh, Bush. yes, President Bush getting it start, getting it started out in Daytona. Getting it start. 180,000 people on hand, I guess, including uh, one Whoopi Goldberg. She uh, started the race out for everybody. And they Friday are didn't want to hand the uh, seven. Number six car, Mark on, Martin uh, at the top, smoking in a bad way. He would unfortunately have his day cut short then. One for the way through the race, wreck of the day. 13 involved in the wreck, including Jamie Saturday McMurray. Friday. Also involved Gordon, Newman, Labonte. John Andretti and Sterling He's Mullen. trying to give the benefit of the However, with 19 laps to go, Dale Earnhardt Jr., he goes past Tony Stewart to take the lead, and he would keep it the rest of the way. Getting, Earnhardt going out to win his first ever Daytona 500. His pit, pit crew is going nuts. And, oh, yes, cannot forget the traditional spin the car. And, uh, you know, Earnhardt was just happy he could finally get by Stewart. So we race hard all day long, and... The pack got real spread out, mm -hmm. and uh, I was getting worried that I was not going to have enough help at the end of the race, so I went ahead and made my uh -huh. move as early as I could. I don't think, I, I think the, the closer it got to the end, the more uh, Tony would have anticipated something, so maybe I caught him a little off guard, but uh, I knew the sooner I made the pass, the better for me. Stewart had 97 of the 200 laps, but takes second on the day. Scott Wimmer, he's the a only pound he key we have in the old Chiron. As for Joplin man of Jamie McMurray, that's the he only pound key we have in Chiron. Look at that. Going out after the multi-car accident multi in 71. Yesterday was also yeah. Championship Sunday at the Millennium Tennis Center. Winner or loser? I was worried about Challenger. using that. Glenn Weiner was the only American but to advance that's the, the guy. Finals, it's and he was matched up against Yen Su Lu of Taipei. Winner or loser? The first place prize, $7,250 USTA God. points. There is Glenn Weiner taking on, taking on Lu, who we showed highlights of yesterday. First set action, Weiner serving big. Big ace there, followed by, yes, another ace. He had, I don't know how many aces in the day. He was serving well, but he would be down a break in the first set. Lou capitalizes with a fast serve himself. Puts the shot runs. away. He wins the first set. He's won the we first set 6 4. Change, uh, Lou go up 5 1 in the second set, and here is match point. A long, long rally. Backhand from Weiner. Forehand goes long from Weiner, and Young Sun Lou is the 2004 Freeman USDA challenger. Singles champion winning 6-4, six, 6-2. Six, and Lou's countryman, they stuck around for his doubles match against Baker and Rom. First set, Baker serving. Rom with the easy put away. And yes, some things do get out of hand. Need some cops to help you out just in case. Nathan Baker and Rom. Baker, big serve. Rom, big shot to the side. They would win the first oh, set, 6-2. But Lou and Soros oh, come back to win it. 3-6, 6-1, 6-1. Now there is still officially yeah, the better. baseball season for both pits. James had these, Missouri Southern have officially had started. these papers and up in front of the camera and in front of both high monitors schools, last night said slow down. Just the he had a much well. better so kick it off and 10 o'clock last night. Around 310 he started out kind of fast, but as it, at Pitt State University as it last got night, especially better, Lisa said he really improved. P.J. Forbes, James, to raise money James and they're both having a problem right now. James gets James Benlecher. All proceeds from the event will be divvied up between J.L. Hudson yeah, Baseball he, League, he Real Baseball, that, and St. Mary's Prison Baseball he's team. Not only is it a great fundraiser for uh, Pittsburgh, they want him to start scripting this out. I'm like, that's impossible. We've got to have the, we've got to have the return video. So yeah, we're real excited. It's just been, it's kind of, every year it's gotten more better and more exciting. And it's just, it's nice to look forward to each year to come to this and, you know, to have my players come. Organizer say $5,000 was raised. Uh, no, no. home opener is March 31st. And he didn't Kansas want, he didn't want to do it. They don't have any trouble so beating Nebraska in basketball. Well, they've been in Cornhuskers nine straight it. times. The last four by an average of 25 points. Wayne Simi and company hoping to continue that trend. Cornhuskers new football coach Bill Callahan 
gave a little talk to the fans at halftime, hoping that would help the teams. Jayhawk gets started early, Wayne Simeon, big dunk, two of his game high 17, Kansas leads 6-2. More Kansas Did you get time, your Aaron movies Miles. updated? Three, uh, no. Good. They would lead 28-27 at the break. But Nebraska was unrelenting in the second blind conference. With the big trade, Nebraska up three. They would never trail from there. Nate Johnson, he'll drive. But here it doesn't go. However, Andrew Drago, oh, yeah, he puts it in. Nebraska with the stunner. They win it 74-55. And a monstrous win for the Missouri Tigers today in Columbia as they brought former SLU coach Charlie Spoonhauer and his team 94-60. Big game from Arthur Johnson. He notches 23 and All takes right, it down by eight VR. inbounds. Because this is a really quick out. Oh, you need to, we need to tell him what he needs to the say. Game. Their record is now 11-10. And that's a look at morning sports. Have a great morning. Roll VR and take it. Process needs to and cue him. Good morning, welcome back. Here's a check from where How long? Monday morning. One segment, D segment. This morning. Can you give me Sarah. 42 degrees. Stand by so two. Hey, the coaching. Highs will be up Hold on. 60, Sarah. Cure. Time for a check of your four state headlines. A new study shows murderers are Clear. more likely to receive death Oops. sentences in Oklahoma than in all but one other state. On the in Oklahoma, 5.1% of convicted murderers are sentenced to death. The only state with a higher Hannah, number is Nevada, two. where it's 6%. The national average is 2.5%. Cure. A former Connors, Oklahoma We will do health at the Kermit Ward. The museum. The Mickey Mantle Memorial Trust purchased about 20 acres along U.S. High the full screen. Across the street from Mickey Mantle Field. The group will Stand start fundraising two. for the museum within a month. Two's it's up. estimated to cost Stand between for music six and to ten million dollars. Mantle grew up in commerce. He played center field for the Yankees from 1951 to 1968. Get it. The debate on human birth hormone continues to heat up. Get the whole story next in our special report, hitting the Great Divide, Life After 50. Really? Yeah, take it. Cool. Cool. Is holding All right. Well, tell well, her she well, can go, go to the board, please. Cure. Welcome back. 90 cents out of every health care dollar is spent Clear. on diseases that could be linked to aging, like cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. Some say human growth hormones help older Step people stay package. healthier and feel younger, while others say it's a disaster waiting to happen. Dow Quick explains. Take it. Uh, camera one. Longer Bob Huskinson works well, out how it is. One, two shot, two deaths. himself with two piles of vitamins it. every day. Twice a day, he also yep. injects himself with human growth hormone. I feel as good as I did when I was in my 20s uh, or 30s. At age 68, Bob says he's come a long way since this picture of himself 10 years ago. If I could Ten. just go on pretty much like this. I Tell Sarah she has control for prompt again. HGH is a natural hormone that the body slowly Ronald stops 35. producing, about 14% less each decade. Low levels cause fatigue, depression, fading memory, and poor sleep, all signs of aging. We have to do something about Ten. old age. We can't let it just happen. Ronald Klass, founder Part of the of life, American dude. Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, says prescription <laughs> HGH can preserve youth. And of course, I wouldn't like one of those youth pills myself. Aging people, uh, a significant portion of them perk up more energy, more uh, muscle, more yeah. bone, more life. <laughs> What's wrong with those things? Klass uses HGH himself. He it says just, it's improved his uh, mood, energy, and arthritic pain. Dr. Samuel Epstein, a former yeah. Harvard researcher, has a different opinion. This is a very dangerous drug and should only be administered by a highly qualified endocrinologist for very specific purposes and with full and adequate warning to the patient of the risks. HGH increases a substance uh, in the yeah, body called IGF-1. Elevated so blood levels of IGF-1 are associated with major increased risks of the breast cancer. What? Oh, shit. In fact, Sorry, my bad. Shows women I, with high levels of IGF-1 had up to seven times that was on the, the second risk page. of breast cancer. I that was my last CG. Another showed men with prostate cancer had significantly higher levels yeah, of IGF-1 than healthy men. Yeah, I will need it. Yeah, I, will, I will need it. So, what would Dr. Epstein tell a friend taking HGH? Bring it back in. Bring Epstein. Give me Epstein immediately. quickly. I recommend that he take a malpractice. I found a malpractice. Clear. Cool. Thanks. Make good on it. it. So HGH is already FDA approved for children. That's going to be shorter than five foot three. Clint says doses used in anti-aging are lower than what's approved it for works. kids. One day in the not too distant future, I think it very well may be considered malpractice for a doctor to withhold human growth hormone from those people who are clinically deficient. While some experts say it will never now, be safe, others are convinced of its benefits. 
Bob says he's not waiting for agreement. He doesn't have time. Now, quick reporting, KUAM News. Even supporters of human growth hormone agreed you should not be on the drug unless blood tests prove you are clinically deficient. An endocrinologist can administer this test for you and determine how normal or abnormal your levels are. For more All information right, on the list of HGH, log on to our website at KOMTV.com and look for the Life After 50 link. Thank you. Well, it's 557. Here's a check of weather on the 7s. This is the 16th day of February. Right, Sunrise is at 7.06. 558 is our sunset time today. Cold temperatures this morning, but we should warm up to 42 here this afternoon. Thank you. So Music. The next half hour of Start the your bowl. Stand by we'll six. How one local business is recognizing Row six. Take it. Stand by VR. This is kicked off Mardi Gras. You're watching the KOAM Morning News. We'll be right back. Roll it and take it. Come on, VR. Take the worry out of buying a used car with Indian Motors. Yes. Okay. Plus. Roll it and take it. Ooh. Nice and loud. A forced 18 dies after the driver of the car she was riding in fell asleep. That story number seven minutes. Four senators react to the gay marriage debate, and the Democratic hopefuls continue to battle for Roll the it. number one. Yeah, take it. Dang, that's fast this morning. But it wouldn't work while we go. Stand by camera one. Zoom. And kill. Welcome to the KOAM morning. This it's Monday, right. it is 6 o'clock. I'm Bill Look, look kind of cool, Sarah anyway. Kidd, coming up a little bit later Claire. this half hour, but we're about halfway through Black History Month, and we're going to find out how some folks in the four states are celebrating. First day, has a check in your forecast. Let's look at some cold temperatures out there. 23 this morning in Fort Scott, and also in Anderson, Missouri, Chinook oh, at 22, 28 this morning in the Osho. Forecast today, weather today a lot like yesterday, partly clouding up to about 42. We've got some uh, milder weather to look Stand forward to too. later this week. We'll have that in our seven-day forecast forecast coming up here shortly, Sarah. Sure. A car accident takes the life of a Pittsburgh teen, topping out first seven screen. minutes. Police think fatigue caused the deadly crash yesterday morning that claimed the life of 18-year-old Megan Mallett. The Pittsburgh High School senior was riding in a car driven by her boyfriend's father, Frank Boldrini. The two were coming home after visiting a son at college in Kentucky. Boldrini's pickup ran, ran off the right side of the road and hit a concrete culvert. Megan was not wearing a seatbelt when the truck overturned. The accident happened on Highway 37, a mile north of Avila, Missouri. Superintendent Gary Price says Change. Megan was such a wonderful girl who was actively involved in school and the National Honor Society. Change. Funeral arrangements have not yet been Step made, but school counselors will be available for students needing to talk today from noon to 3 p.m. at the high school. Cure. A Seneca family is homeless after a fire destroyed their five, home. Row five. More than 50 firefighters fought the blaze that destroyed uh, this Seneca house around noon yesterday. Seneca's mm -hmm. fire chief says it started from an electrical Clear. short outside and quickly spread. When firefighters arrived, it took only 10 minutes to put it out. The chief says the house is a total loss, but no one was injured. Jim and Debbie Thomas and six their by. two children say they're lucky to be alive, but they're still Roll six. Shot. Take the bite. Send. Uh, 21, go from there. Clear. I guess. Well, let's try over again. Start all over and have to. Everything Send. Everything inside, pretty well, total loss. Very little savage in the house. And Clear. Stand by two. Uh, we'll just get some red cross for the local church. QM. Whoa, the what happened there? Have insurance. However, they say they plan to rebuild on the lot. From coast to coast, That's hundreds nice. of gay marriages took place on Valentine's Day. The Trinity United Methodist Church in Kansas City decided it will hold its last traditional wedding this spring. They decided to stop marriages for heterosexual couples until the United Methodist Church allows them to do the same for gays in their congregation. In a religious versus civil rights debate that's now a hot topic through the four states, KOM's Still my seven and package by one in. local member of the gay community no, you wants won't be in. the right to marry, and while one local church hopes that doesn't Roll seven. happen. Take it. I remember this from Saturday night. In Give me the next one. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Right Go back to Joplin. To Mary. George Ann I don't know if they should. Joplin says they're sending the right and message. Give me the next I think one. should be legal. Ten. I mean, from my point of view. Clear. There's no difference between heterosexual marriages and there should be between homosexual marriages. As a member of the gay community, being denied the right to marry is hard to take. <laughs> being gay myself uh, is almost an uh, insult. Uh, right? from eight, so um, they have their you know, rights, and we should be able to have ours. so mean. And all we're looking we for is talk equality. Respect, Nothing special. Respect your 
you know, not being in my What, home what did, uh, just, yeah. oh, you were here the, you were here the other day, weren't you, when, uh, Pope Reverend Aaron did, Brown uh, of St. Paul's Methodist Church thinks gay marriages are immoral, and he believes the only marriages the U.S. should recognize are between a man and a woman. Our church's official stance is that we do not condone cool. same-sex Oh, did marriages. you cut this package? And our, our clergy are not permitted to, to do same-sex uh, marriages. That's this because, is as a Methodist, standard. he believes the homosexual oh, sorry, lifestyle is incompatible with the Bible. While his church has no plans to join in protests against legalizing gay marriage, he says it's only a matter of time before the decision is made. It's going to be a matter of legal debate, and, and uh, laws are going to be made. But and bigger staff agrees with that. Times are changing. So, uh, you know, Massachusetts passed it. John Gilmore um, here. Right now they're trying to fight <laughs> Ten seconds to end on the You know, they have a, a fighting chance of keeping it. In Joplin, Karen Cruz in KOAM News. Cure. Well, Reverend Brown disagrees with same-sex marriages. He encourages his Step clergy and all Christians not to stand in judgment of gays. And he says everyone is welcome at St. Paul's, including gays Roll and it. lesbians. And take it. Cure. Popping Nation has dozens video. of gay couples in San Francisco prepare for another day Roll in line. Take it. Camera two desk. Cure. Wow, how would you do? Wife and the five. Stand by. Stand by five. And they're expected to continue today before a court challenge is heard on Tuesday. Take it. The Democratic front runner takes aim at the president while his two closest contenders are fighting for control. The Democratic front runner takes aim at the president while his two closest contenders fight for votes. During a debate yesterday, John Kerry repeatedly said President Bush rushed to war in Iraq. John Edwards and Howard Dean, who are both facing pressure to concede, said Start they intend you to win Joey. the nomination. Because <laughs> Joey did the same thing the other day on the name, stand by six. He loses tomorrow, and Edwards has vowed to stay in while dwindling money may fall Roll six. Out. Take it. Today, President Bush touts his administration's economic progress with the stop yeah. in Tampa, Florida. On Sunday, Mr. Bush read up his right re-election campaign, opening the Daytona 500 NASCAR race. Stand by two. And staying to watch the race, the president works to, to court the sports tens of millions of fans. This is his 19th trip to Florida, the, the state heck? that decided she okay? the last presidential election. All right. And now here's Dave with a look at your forecast. QM. Thank you, Sarah. Things all quiet out there. Just Ooh. cold oh, on shit. this Monday morning. Temperatures in the low 20s in yeah. some places. The weather today, quite a bit like yesterday. That was a little temperatures rough. into the low 40s here this afternoon. We can look Claire. forward to some warmer weather coming this week with temperatures that are going to get into the 50s she get lost and maybe or? even into the 60s. Now, tonight, oh. we will see a disturbance coming out of the northwest. I don't even have my chance. I ain't chance, had, I didn't have a chromo set up anyway. Some light and I feel bad. I'm messing up on snow. audio. Speaking of snow, look at that snow. We all are. Tennessee and through North <laughs> yeah, Carolina should. and Virginia going back into yesterday. Nashville, Tennessee, almost 11 inches. Of snow uh, out west is where most of the wet weather is all the way from washington down into southern california with rain and some heavy snows out I in the mountains uh oh negative and we're looking for a nice warm-up coming in here thumbs down later this week it'll be kind of cool again tomorrow but we're going to see temperatures warming up by the middle of the week the current temperature in joplin is 29 degrees 21 for kansas city and 25 down in Tulsa this morning. Hang on, Hannah. Yeah, your Monday uh, camera's clear. Partly cloudy and cool. 42 for a high temperature today with winds that will be light and from the southwest. Uh, I always forget that Forecast we used to for this. 30% chance of light rain or snow. Our low temperature drops down to 29, back up to about 45 on Tuesday. Wednesday looks awfully nice. 57 on Wednesday. Thursday, 62. And then on Stand Friday, by two. Thunderstorms in forecast, Music followed by some dry and, cool. and cooler weather for next weekend. Yeah. But it looks like things are looking up. Yeah. You're ready for some warmer weather. Music. And that's me. I am mm -hmm. ready for some warmer weather. That's what Music, full, semi full screen. For seven minutes. Coming up on the KOA morning news. On the full screen. Find out ah, damn it, got Dave's cup in there. Come on. Started off the Mardi Gras party. Plus one southwest Missouri community. Remember we need some coffee mugs. Morning show coffee mugs. Stand by VR. You got shot down, didn't you? Roll it. Take VR. Shot stay. Now we are, ha are, are we going to have chroma in, in the G? Okay, we're going to be at a desk. Okay. Um, you're around town. Out time is 14.06. 14.06. QM, music.
welcome back. And we're looking at a Skycam picture of Red Joplin this morning. It's, it's February 16th, 2004. And it's 6.11 in the morning. Okay. 49 degrees the temperature in Joplin this Monday morning. Keep them up. Weekend. Pretty nice day Saturday. And both of those people are alive. Personally, I slept most of it away. <laughs> All right, well, that's kind of bad ways from going. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. bringing it there, there. Kim. So you often see athletes and five. soldiers riding on floats and parades, but yesterday it was Row five. Take St. Louis really Ten. asking who let the dogs out. Yeah, today more than 5,000 dogs mm -hmm. and their owners took part in the Barkus Pet Parade. It's, it's all done out there. Look at the beads. It's one of the largest yeah. in the whole world. It's a humorous kickoff to Mardi Gras. How much videos on this? The canines marching in costume cool. and colorful gear. Are they going to talk about it? This money for animal charities. And it looks like they have a lot of fun. Mm. Must be a sign of spring that <laughs> uh, the skunks are out. The <laughs> dog has been skunked. <laughs> really? Two <laughs> times in the last three days. Twice. And he was reeking this morning. Do you know the music? Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. Well, here's a look at what is going on around town. And There's music. <laughs> Friday, February 20th, the chili and vegetable soup dinner happening from 10 to 2 at First United Methodist Church in Columbus. It's five dollars, and you can even get carry out. And if you can't wait until Friday, there's another chili and vegetable soup and bake sale Thursday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is at the Southwest Missouri Arthritis Association on East 9th Street in Joplin. Only four dollars, and carry outs welcome there. Here's your chance to take a driver training course for older drivers, 1230 to 4.30 at Copper County Sheriff's Department. We're going to be light. February 23rd and 24th. Mass Control, please add a 30 to this break. So give me a call. And if you want to check over some of these community events or post your own notice, you yeah, can yeah. visit us at koantv.com and click on the community events link. Stand we'll by. Kind of Music full. Alright, stem my VR. I'm gonna go at 26. Roll it and take it. Okay, we should only be. Every day on two, last spot. This is it. Stand by two. Stand by two. Cure. Time for a check of your first state headline. School Clear. schools in the first states are learning about other parts of the world while celebrating Row their five. culture as well. Take it. Saturday, 400 Girl Scouts participated in the annual Thinking Day, Clear. which celebrates different cultures and international sisterhood. More than 50 troops each made presentations and informational booths about a different country. Organizers say it's a good way to show the Scouts people are very much alike, even though they have differences. We hope this will encourage six girls bite. to continue learning about Roll other six. cultures. Take a bite. Well, we're a Ten. We're a global world. And Ten. It's essential for to celebrate to about other people the differences. Too, um, Stand by two. To embrace differences and to celebrate the differences. Cure. All the countries represented Saturday are part of the Girl Scouts World Association. And my February seven is video. Black History Month, and yesterday one Southwest Missouri community focused on those credited with some unusual Girl inventions. Seven. The Newton County Historical Society held a program called A Time to Clear. Remember. The speaker, Star Terry, a longtime Neo Show resident, told about a pencil sharpener, Semi for a bite pen, night. and comb. Just three of the hundreds of items invented by African Americans. This typewriter is another example, and so is the golf tee, an item one resident was surprised Real light. by. Take the bite. Ten. Thirteen. Really wonderful. Stand by one or two. Two. Wasn't in the history books. And for her to bring this out today, I thought it was really wonderful. Cure. Stand by turn to one, stand by one. Now here's time for a look at your forecast. 617 on a Monday morning, temperatures in the 20s this morning. Not bad. I thought it was going to work, but it didn't work. Stand by one. QM, stand by V. One business is helping some Joplin students on the Black History Month. All right, music. Find out how you can enter the research presentation context. And the KLM Morning News continues. Roll it and take it. That didn't work. I was hoping that would work. Thank you. Welcome back. We did want to tell you about a special competition for some Joplin Clear. students. It is in celebration of Black History Month, and I think we have some details for you. What's up? Here there. Um, it's our competition for first through fifth grade students who are in the Joplin <laughs> Art School District. And they can win a $500 saving bonds. Um, they are going to research a African American inventor so or historian and um, do a little art project on them. So for some more information, go ahead and give them a call. 
Thank you. Well, it has been a cold and snowy winter, and it has produced a buffer crop of Just icicles. In my pod well, those icicles can uh, create roof problems for homeowners, but as Steve Carlin explains, those icicles are pretty, and his photographer proves. Robot, and take it. The dictionary defines it as a quivering spike of ice formed by the freezing of dripping water. The definition is fine, but it doesn't do enough to describe icicles. Yeah. Six and seven. It's incredible the intricate artwork must be coming back out of them. With some sunshine, yeah. mounds okay. of melting snow, and gravity. Are we light? Like snowflakes, no two are alike. Like clouds, yeah. shapes reveal themselves. Okay. Just 127. Some look like jagged teeth. Others resemble fingers. Yeah. Reaching. Be the hell did we get this package? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is why it was a backup package. Ten seconds. Stand by. One. Pilot's asleep. <laughs> Steve Carlin for CBS News, Des Moines, Iowa. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a bathroom break. Stand by VR. We'll be back right after the break. Bro, check it. Come on, Fred. If tough, durable, the lines are weak on seven strong. And my two. And cure. Welcome back. Wall Street takes a President's Day break. Clear. But instead of costing a risk in today's Bloomberg in. Business Report, traders will have a full plate of economic news to digest when trading resumes tomorrow. Row five. Take it. Traders will pay close Wait, attention to this week's selection of economic yeah. indicators, Anna especially banana, no. after last week's disappointing stats. This week serves as a report on housing starts oh, and building okay. permits for January. I've never heard that. Housing starts phrase. are expected to hold really above happened. a two million. That makes me like so much more. <laughs> what, Anna banana? We will also have the yeah. latest figure on industrial production and capacity utilization, as no, well I've never as heard the Anna banana phrase. And retail when, so when you said that, I'm the like, the markets were shaken late last week. Anna, Anna, banana. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh. The name came so close to me. All right. See, I... The That's like the one song I never listened to. The so. consumer sentiment fell more than expected this month. The report found that weak job growth is restraining See, optimism. See, I wouldn't even thought of that. Economy. Combined, that news helped to slow a rally that had lifted the Dow last week to its highest level Just since June of 2001. Still, still yeah. ahead, one stock soars yeah, on a cancer on treatment oh, approval. Yeah, on two, Bloomberg's business up. report is brought to you in part Big by Big Kitty. Sprint. Is that a backup package? Why AT&T Wireless? Oh my god. It's what Sam did. It's a 405 it pack. It's what Earl did. And oh, Earl. what? Oh, okay. Right, but comparing high-speed wireless yeah, data networks, Sprint covers I think 25 Clint, million more people than AT&T Wireless in it's places little. we do business. Anyone consider this? <laughs> I don't know if eccentric is quite the word or not. He 25 million people, people convince me. Yeah. And them too. Get better so high-speed data coverage. Get the facts at Sprint.com. One Sprint, many one. solutions. I'll just keep it at that. In the last session on Wall Street, traders had to deal with the larger-than-expected slide in the Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index. At Friday's close, the Dow lost 66 oh points, gosh. the S&P 500 shed 6, and the Nasdaq gave back 20. Oh M-Clone share surged 28% on FDA right, approval of its colon one. cancer drug, Herbitux. That's the drug that's at the center of the insider trading scandal involving oh, the company's package. founder... Martha Stewart's obstruction of justice trial what continues that? this week. That's latest in business with the Bloomberg Business Report. I'm Deborah Kostrin. Thank you. I'm it's 6:27. Here's checking your weather on the sevens. It's a cold Monday morning. Stand by one. Get ready to We should warm up to about 42 for the high today. And Q. Well, we'll come in the next Start your pulls. Stand by six. Roll six. Take it. Whoa. Yeah. Roll seven. Decks were backward. Oh, I did it. My bad. Stand my VR. We'll be right back. No, that didn't work. My fault. The art. Roll eight. Thank you.
after the driver of the car she was riding in fell asleep. That story I gotta pull off on this. Here's the MIPR. react to the gay marriage debate, and the Democratic hopefuls continue to battle for the number one spot. Right. And take it, you piece of shit. Come on. Semi one. Zoom. And yeah. Good morning. Welcome back to the KOA in morning news. Start on the Sky 7 first. Clear. I'm Sam Pierce. Okay. Can you get a little bit of the hero so far? I've been looking forward to it all weekend. It's Big Kitty Monday. And we're going to have a spotted leopard here. Pretty excited to meet him and find out how you can help him build a new home. But first, Dave has a check on your forecast. Let's check in with Sky 7 there at 7th and Range Line this morning. The uh, weather is quiet across the four states with temperatures mostly in the 20s out there. Here's St. John's Sky at 7. There's 22 in Anderson and Chinook, 28 in Neosho, 23 this morning in Fort Scott. Joplin at 29, Carthage 28, 27, Pittsburgh and Miami at 24. We should make it up to about 42 Ooh. for a high temperature today. Partly cloudy skies. A slight Semi chance for some rain or snow tonight. Semi two. All on that just Hold on, guys. Cure. A car accident takes the life of a Pittsburgh team topping our first seven minutes. Police think fatigue caused the deadly crash yesterday morning that claimed the life of 18-year-old Megan Mallett. The Pittsburgh High School senior was riding in a car driven by her boyfriend's father, Frank Baldrini. The two were coming home after visiting his son at college in Kentucky. Baldrini's pickup ran off the right the side of the road and hit a concrete culvert. Megan was not wearing a seatbelt when the truck overturned. The accident happened on Highway 37, a mile north of Avila, Missouri. Change. Superintendent Gary Price says Megan was such a wonderful girl who was actively involved in school and the National Honor Society. Change. Funeral arrangements have not yet been made, but school Stand counselors will be available for students needing to talk today from noon until 3 p.m. at the high school. Cure. A Seneca family is homeless after Stand a fire five, destroys five. their home. Take it. More than 50 firefighters fought the blaze that destroyed this house around noon yesterday. Clear. Seneca's fire chief says it started from an electrical short outside and quickly spread. When firefighters arrived, it took only 10 minutes to put it out. The chief says the house is a total loss, but no one was injured. Jim and Debbie Stand by six by. And their two children say they're lucky to be alive. But they're still Roll six. Take the bike. Send. 21. Go from there. Clear. Try over again. Start all over. Have to. Send. 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 A Southeast Kansas seven. mom is worried about a legally bought cigarette. Take it. Michelle McClellan Send. with Gerard says her 16-year-old buys cigarettes at this local convenience Clear. store in Arma without being carded. Managers at the Arma Express convenience Stand store were unavailable for comment. McClellan says the clerk assumed her son was 18. Most convenience stores, including the Arma Express, post signs warning people they must be over 18 to purchase cigarettes. McClellan says she doesn't think her son's Stand case is an isolated incident, and she thinks something needs to be Roll done eight. about it. Take the bike. It's just... Uh, it's 15, about it. Clear. The kids don't need to do it. The, the convenience stores don't need to sell it to make money. Um, yeah, and they need to be aware that parents are concerned about it. Cure. The clerk filed a complaint screen. with the police, but isn't sure if she'll press charges. On the full screen. Kansas retailers are fined at least two hundred dollars for not Stand carding a minor, Q, Sarah, but the silver fine is up to one thousand dollars for the first violation. Minors are subject to a fine of twenty-five dollars. And take it. Cure. Stand by five. In San Francisco, prepare for another day. Roll five. Line. The city is trying to handle the huge volume Sam. of same-sex couples seeking marriage licenses. The marriages of same-sex couples desk. began on Thursday and are expected to continue today before a court challenge is heard on Tuesday. Oh, Gay marriage is also a Cure. hot topic Damn here it. in the first six. Roll we six. target Take in it. Joplin to find out what four staters think about same-sex marriages and the Stand challenge seven for next. Roll si seven. Take the bite. In my opinion, Sam. it's completely constitutional. You, you know, Clear. Freedom, right of happiness. That's, that's what it's all about. Even though Sam. it's a separation of church and state, I still think Clear. that God pretty what? well explains what? it in the Bible oh. as to what it should be, and I don't think we should go against God's will. I Sam. think it's not my place to judge. I'm all for it. If Clear. If happy, you know, so be it. I think two people love Sam. each other. I've got no problem with them spending the rest Clear. of their lives together. I believe I that God next designed next. marriage for Sam. man and woman, and I'm completely Clear. against it. Clear. Still my PD2. It'll mess up this world even more than it already is. Roll it. And take it. 
cure. We asked what you thought about gay marriage in our interactive question. I know it. 72% of you approve of gay marriages, while 27% of you do not, and 1% of you do not have an opinion. Cure. To voice your own opinion, you can visit our website, KLMTV.com. Just one day to go before a contest that could once again shake up the Democratic field. The frontrunner remains a favorite, and the results of Tuesday's Wisconsin primary Stand may force at least one contender out of the race. Aline Sergani Roll reports. Eight. Take it. From shaking hands at a diner to clapping along in church to speaking on the stump, these three candidates work to uh, move Wisconsin voters. 72 delegates sucks. are up for grabs tomorrow. The front runner leads in the polls, and his two closest contenders desperately oh, need a strong no, showing. All the candidates met last night for what could be their final debate. Boom. Attacks on not President fault, Bush took center fault, stage. Mary. Every one of us Sad. up here has an approach that is vastly better than George Bush's, because George Bush has no approach. With 14 out of 16 preliminary contests under his belt, Herodine. John Kerry hopes an overwhelming victory in Wisconsin <clears throat> will push Howard Dean and John Edwards out of the race. This is a critical contest for the former Vermont governor, who has not carried a single state. His advisors have urged him to bow out if he doesn't win tomorrow. And Dean himself was a little kinder to carry during the debate. If he wins the nomination, I want to support him. I know. But I intend to win the nomination. The senator from North Carolina has also repeatedly said this race is not over. And I, for one, intend to fight with everything I've got for every one of those votes. Edwards is looking ahead to Super Tuesday, but keeping the campaign alive takes money. And the more Kerry wins, the more money he gets. The Republicans are already treating John Kerry like the nominee. And they launched a video right, attack clear. on the internet, bringing the Massachusetts senator to special interests. Two. The Kerry camp shot back with its own web attack against the Bush administration. In Washington, Aline Sergani for the KOAM Morning News. Cure. Troopers Stand in five. Tennessee are telling people to stay Roll off five. the roads Take after it. 11 inches of snow hit areas around Nashville. The unusually heavy winter storm created icy roads and power outages throughout two. the midsection of the state. Three different Stand interstates closed down for various periods of time. Thank you. Now here's Dave for a look at our forecast. Mm. Thanks, sir. It is 637 hey. Monday morning. Hey. President, you're up. Folks, off today. And the weather today is going to turn out to be a lot like it was on Sunday. Cold temperatures this morning, but we should warm up into the low 40s for highs this afternoon and the partly cloudy sky. Overall, we're going to see some warmer weather this week with temperatures getting into the 50s and probably even into the 60s. Now, for tonight, we've got a little weak disturbance that will move through here quickly and bring with it a chance that we could see some light rain or light snow here tonight. 30% chance. Mm. There's that snow we were just uh, reporting on over in Tennessee, man. Nashville, almost 11 inches Where's of rain snow up through the mountains of eastern Tennessee on over into North Carolina really? and Virginia. Oh, Most wow. of the action at this time, though, is across the western it's U.S. with a lot of uh, rain along the west coast and the mountain snows out there. Well, we've got a warm-up coming, as we said. Tomorrow's weather just a little know, bit warmer, but by saying. Wednesday and Thursday, that's when we're really going to notice the warmer weather with temperatures oh, well into the 50s and even 60s. Uh, 29 is the temperature in Joplin. One is and clear. Up to about 42 today, partly cloudy with light winds from the southwest. And 30% chance of some light rain or snow tonight. Low dropping down to 29 tomorrow. Partly cloudy and 45. Not Wednesday, mostly sunny and 57. Thursday, Does he have the list? 62. I laid it there while ago. And it looks like we'll finish up the night week with a good chance for showers and thunderstorms on Friday, followed by some dry and cooler weather for next weekend. Thank you. And that's what Music. Things, top story Search your post in my full screen. Minutes. Coming up on the KOM Morning News. On the full it's screen. Three, we'll see who's having a birthday in the fourth state. And the box office turns into a love affair as couples celebrate Valentine's at the movies. Your box office review at 6.49. And at 6.53, we're going to get wild with some big cats as we help them find a new home. You're watching the KOM Morning News. We'll be right back. Live from KOM TV. Tell him I'm going to get him the list here in a second. And Dave Pilot with Skywatch 7 Weather. It's IR.
Kim. Hey, welcome back. It is the 16th day of February. Oh, clear. In the middle of the month. Yeah, let's birthday. check out some birthdays. People on celebrating today. Birthdays. Birthdays. Our Britain is uh, in roots. Oh. It's 47. Yeah, on Star Trek, too. I see. <laughs> his real name is Tracy. He's 45. And uh, the tennis bad boy John McEnroe is 45. A local I figured you were going to get that in there. Next time in Nobla, Missouri, the 46th wedding anniversary today. And that picture got to us a little bit later. It was uh, Valentine's on the Valentine's couple. Oh. Congratulations. Lots of Valentine's Jordan. couples. Jordan Scott friend is turning 14 in Iowa. Happy birthday to Jordan. So was Nancy. Happy birthday to Shayla Ray Nancy, Conaghan. Isn't she precious? Shayla Turning five in the O show. John McComb is the big 4-0 in Cherokee. World champion dog greaser, according oh. to her sister. Wow. <laughs> Whatever that is. Cody Grills is turning nine. Grills. Gerard, big Bulls fan. It's my kind of kid. Yeah. Hometown Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> and Corey Kelly is turning 15 in Richie, Missouri. Happy birthday, Corey. A few other folks celebrating. Virginia Hartman. Uh, Zimmer Willamettes. Zimmer is at Sunset Manor. And Wilma Schultz from Gerard. Randy Russell, why does that name ring a bell? Randy's almost there. Randy <laughs> Russell is 49. Happy birthday. Congratulations. If you'd like to send us your announcement, um, but you can go ahead and do that. 745 Range Line in Joplin, PO Box 659 in Pittsburgh. And morning news at KOAMTV.com. And we do want to mention our reporter, Kieran Cruzen. Happy mm -hmm. birthday. The end of last week. And they're up. And we even had a picture and didn't get that on. Uh, uh, that was with Paige. Uh -huh. But anyway, happy birthday, Kieran. <laughs> Let's do a yeah. question of the day go, for you. We've got the uh, big kid is coming up in oh. a few minutes. We had uh, last Monday the tiger on. Yeah. And so our question of the day is true or false. A tiger has stripes okay. on its skin. So you mean when you shave off the fur? We don't recommend it. it don't recommend <laughs> you shave your tiger. We'll have the answer when we return. Music full. Bring the music up. Where you when we go out at? 55, all right? Roll it, take it, nice. You piece of shit, come on. At Furniture Factory, oh, more people are watching the early show. And Kim. I'm oh, sorry, man. Question of the day, true or false, a tiger of course has it. stripes on its skin. The answer is true. The tiger has stripes on its skin I and G4. its fur. Play the music up. Tiger, you'll see stripes of skin. Yeah, don't, don't try it, though. We'll try that at home. Here's your seven-day forecast. A chilly Monday morning. We're headed up to about 42 uh, for the high today. A slight the open, right? chance for some PD2. light rain or snow tonight and the weather tomorrow. About the same as today. Roll it. And take it. Kim, stand by five. Roll five. And take it. Adam, Sam, um, I need a courtesy Columbia pictures. So I gotta have that. An irresistible draw for the Valentine's I have to have it. Date crowd taking in forty-one million dollars to debut as the top movie. I always gotta have that. We have to Sam we have to credit that. Start in the my full screen. Center, which opened over Valentine's weekend back in 1998. Sandler plays a womanizer smitten by Barrymore, an accident victim with no short-term memory, forcing him to dream up new ways for the two to meet and fall in love every day. On the full screen. I saw it, and it was really good. I really liked it. Recommend it. Well, the previous weekend's top film, Barbershop 2, Back in Business, looked to second place with $15.6 million, bringing its 10-day total to $44.1 million. Kurt Russell's underdog story for 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team took third. Miracle made $14 million over the weekend. The better fan fixed by Ashton Kutcher stays in the top five, placing it number four, making $5.7 million. Stand by two. And the street dancing saga you got served takes number five with five point one million dollars. And they're still up. haven't made it to go see that. Stand up for music. No, but uh, <laughs> you know the uh, the wedding singer. I didn't think I would like that, but I, I did kind of enjoy that one too. So you, you should good, go uh, check out fifty percent. Combination there, Barry Moore and Adam Sandler. I think the critics were wrong on that one. It's a rather, music. rather large cap. Need a good home. But you can take things home. Coming up, we'll take a look at a leopard who needs a bigger place to call home. You're watching the KO. We'll be right back. Roll it and take it. Camry, it's only got 19,000 miles. <laughs> and it's only 10 seconds, step by five package. Only Ready for five? Roll five. 
And take it. Welcome back, everybody. It's another Big Kitty Monday. Clint Perkins has joined us this morning, and today World he five. is in Kyra. Take a Standard. look at Kyra. She is a spotted leopard? Yes. Tell us about her. And they found her throughout Africa. Um, she's a cat that was taken from the... Actually, I picked her up before the facility which Wichita was shut down by the U.S. government due to uh, poor conditions. They, had, they weren't taking care of their animals correctly, and I was lucky enough to go in there and pick her up. She so she was a rescue. Yeah, she was. We wanted to talk a little bit about what it takes to have these big cats because you really do have to uh, go through a lot and have the, like that. you know, the proper licensing through the state and the federal government. Oh, it's a tedious process. And yeah. You have to have from other people who already have your license right and thing. have but the experience with these animals. Yeah. And that's USDA is really doing the right thing now as far as being able to. They're going in and shutting down a lot of facilities that haven't met and been in compliance with all their laws and regulations. And. Uh, these animals then are placed in homes like, you know, well, I got, I got her, but, that, you know, it's good that they're doing this, but this also allows, it takes it's a lot of cats that they don't have homes. Mm -hmm. You know, and when they take the cats and shut it down, you know, what do you do with them? Do There's no place to go with them, and that's what I'm trying to do now is to open up the big cat sanctuary um, so I can house these animals. These are, are a lot uh, different animal from a lion or a tiger. They spend a lot of time in, in living in trees. Right, right. Yeah, they're smaller, and uh, they do drag their prey after they kill them up in the tree. Did y'all give and directions? It's beautiful. It's long. I hope she doesn't mind me pulling on her tail a little bit. But, hey, you got uh, plenty of time. How big will she get? About twice this size. Yeah. 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 Like She's this. nine months old now. And was really uh, pretty uh, wild and crazy when you first got when her. When I first got her, you couldn't even get in the pen with her. So was there I mean, anybody chopping off the slittering? And that, you know, I've spent a I lot of time with her. She's doing great now. This is her first time out in the sure family. She's going to be doing pretty well. So what do you actually do with these cats? Like, like calm them down and let them know they're loud. They're fine with them. I mean, not like anything. Oh, just Brian, a lot of FYI. <laughs> So she'll settle down probably the older that she gets, the more she gets used to. Oh, the more she's exposed, and I do a lot of school programs. Dalton doesn't come in until 9. And I do a lot of school programs also. I have to come back And to uh, I go and teach kids, and, and also corporate events. I go and do a lot of teaching on big cats. Uh, they're all endangered, or most of them. And uh, that's what I love to do, and that's what I hope to, really hope to be doing in this area soon. How did you get into this, and what was, what was your first okay. step? I'm going to be a standing one-hour notice. And yeah. I got into it just out of interest in my life for animals. I want to talk about the sanctuary, and uh, now you've got like 15 big cats already? Right, I've already got 15 big cats, and it's just time for me to expand. I found the land that I want to buy, what? and I'm just looking for assistance in, in doing that. I have Let's talk about how these compare with the uh, lions oh, and the tigers. Wow. These are a lot more active, as you can tell. <laughs> she does not sit still ever. And she's very limber. Is she very fast? Oh, yeah. my gosh. She's unbelievable how fast they are. They... It's just lightning, lightning quick. Well, how much does she eat? Oh, they eat about 10 pounds every every day. What, uh, chicken or? Uh, we feed a variety of stuff, yeah. anywhere from deer. The county's nice enough to drop off the road, kill deer. Yeah. And we get that, and then uh, we also feed beef and poultry. Oh, she's beautiful, just beautiful animal. Once again, if you want more information uh, well, about the uh, Prince Edward's to start oh, okay. the sanctuary, we've got a number that you can call. Um, basically, you, you're going to need some help there. financially, and you're looking for people who might want to help you invest in this. Yes, I need other animal lovers to help invest in the property. The main thing I need is the land. And like I said, I've, I've located 160 acres that is perfect for what we need. And sure. we'll allow each different Ryan's group of animals five to 15 acres per that. habitat. Well, we're going to look forward to seeing you bringing in some I've more cats and maybe even, I know you've got stuff besides the big right, cat right. today. We'll see some of those too. Thanks for coming in. Well, you're welcome. Step step up Riverside Zoological Park. Very exciting. We'll be right back. <laughs> and take it. A mouse control, please add a minute. Add a minute, please. Thank you. Good morning, welcome back. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. Forecast today, 42 for Stand by high, two. which is what it got up to on Sunday. I need New York. We have first. about a 30% chance for some light rain or light snow tonight. Shouldn't be much if it uh, comes to be. Uh, for 29 the low tonight, 45 on Tuesday, but check out Wednesday and Thursday, 57. Wednesday, Thursday, 62. It's been a long time since we've had temperatures up into the 50s and 60s. And it looks like a good chance for some thunderstorms rolling through here by Friday. 
They're up. 50s and 60s. Look at the shit. Five videos. Five videos. Gonna feel great. Well, what's the hot new toy for, for 2004? Well, that's guess. what toy retailers from all around the world were trying to find out at a toy uh, fair player. in New York City. One hot so. item, the electronic robot chorus line, but <laughs> the tried and true G.I. Joe, who turned 40 years old this yeah. year, is one of the most popular toys. G.I. Joe's uh, 40th that's anniversary that's collection that's features that's authentic that's reproductions that's of the 1964 figure and official that that equipment. There's a beachhead assault set and an action sailor a with a Navy toys. attack set. Did you have those when you were there? I was big time into G.I. <laughs> Joe's. I still wish I had a lot of that stuff. There's a couple of retro toys like these Cabbage Patch Kids, which are also making a big comeback right now, plus car race tracks and, two. of course, train sets are still all the rage. <laughs> Yeah. You always used to play with my dad's vintage. Right, stand by to get it. Yeah. 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 Some of the old stuff, yeah, is good. Absolutely. Alrighty, that's it for Monday. Hope you all have a great day today. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Music. Go. Run them. Make it quick, though. Stand by network. Go ahead and run them. There we go. I'll take it out early. That's all right. Eight, nine. Eight music. Oh, shoot. Good morning. Kill your, stop, your <laughs> stop your VR. Stop your VR, Brian. <laughs> I rolled the VR back.